Hello, I want to do another example involving Snell's Law. In this example, this has, a, uh, has to do with um, what happens at sunrise and what happens at sunset. So this happens twice a, get, twice a day. Um, so when it rises or sets, the sun appears to be on the, uh, on the horizon, but actually it is below the horizon. As the light enters our atmosphere, it is bent due to the difference in the index refraction between our atmosphere and the index refraction outside our atmosphere, which is essentially one. We perceive that the light comes at an angle delta above the actual position. If we call the index of refraction of the atmosphere an atmosphere, and we assume that it's constant in the atmosphere, which is not really the case, but we're going to build a simpler model. We want to calculate that angle delta in terms of the quantity shown, which is the radius of the Earth and the height of the atmospheric layer. This is an application of Snell's Law. And again, Snell's Law can be written in the following way, n1 sine of theta1 equals n2 sine of theta2. In this example, we have a, a ray of sun, a ray of sunlight traveling, and here's the vacuum, and here the, the index of refraction, in this medium, we're going to call it N sub atmosphere. The height of the layer of the atmosphere we'll call H. And the index of refraction is N atmos. So this dotted line is the horizon. This is light incident along the horizon. And this is the ray below the horizon. It gets bent because of Snell's law. This line that you see here represents the normal to the surface of the upper atmosphere. This is the angle theta. So our angle of incidence is theta plus delta. So what I want to do is write this with our angle of incidence, and we're going to say that N1 in this problem equals 1 because this is a vacuum. And I'm going to put sine of theta plus delta. N2 is the atmosphere. And now we got to write something for sine of theta 2, which is just the angle theta, because that's this angle with respect to the normal. This angle is theta, this angle. These are vertical angles. That angle is theta. My goal is to solve for delta. So I have to take the inverse sine of both sides. And if I, take, if I take the inverse sine of both sides, I'm going to get theta plus delta equals the inverse sine of n atmosphere sine of theta. And delta is going to be equal to the arc sine. N atmosphere sine of theta minus theta. But we're not done yet because we can figure out what the angle of theta is in terms of our known quantities. If you look at this, the radius of the Earth is opposite this hypotenuse. This is a right angle. So 
This, this guy is opposite the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the radius of the earth plus h. So the hypotenuse of our right triangle is r sub e plus h. So sine of theta is r sub e over r sub e plus h. That means then that theta is the arc sine of r sub e over r sub e plus h. So I can substitute this theta here, and then I can substitute this one over here. And so what I get, what I get then when I do all that substitution is the following fairly long equation. I get delta is the arc sine of an atmosphere times r sub e over r sub e plus h minus the arc sine of r sub e over r sub e plus h. And that gives you that angle delta. Remember that this effect occurs twice during the daytime. You need to know this because you have a homework problem that's related to this. So please study this problem so you can do the, your homework problem.